see uh, when you are in good company, and we have been in a good company with the nice people from Canon, uh, two hours is actually going quite fast. And I'm again here with uh, Tonya Powers. Uh, you are the, we forgot to introduce you probably before, you are the... I am the director uh, of marketing, the go-to-market team specifically at Canon Solutions <laughs> America. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My name is Morton. Hi, Morton. Hi. Was it Tonya? Oh, yes. Sorry. No. Um, Tonya, <clears throat> we are going to uh, wrap this two hours up, uh, and we are going to talk about some of the things that you do for your customers. Um, I think that people have maybe not got the hundred percent idea about Think. Okay. I think the uh, I think the word is fantastic. I think it's great. Tell what is Think. So I actually want to step back a little bit and what is driving the uh, the creation of Think. Uh, really, the Kiyose or Canon philosophy is the term Kiyose, which you may have heard before, and it's all about living harmoniously with um, the people we work with, our employees, our partners, our environment. So always giving back. So I mean that's that's our philosophy. So of course it was a national uh, natural transition for us to look at. Okay, we have this growing community of production inkjet customers, and they need help. They need to understand uh, what does it take to invest in this type of equipment? What's the impact it will have on their business? How will they continue to grow and evolve with this new technology? So that really is what spurred the, the development of the Think User Group. So it, we reached out to customers in the community, and a, a board was elected, and they lead and drive this. So it's all coming from the customers. It's coming from the community. So, so are you saying that the actual planning and the content of, of uh, Think is, is, is uh, community driven? Exactly, exactly, and that's what we're all about. We, we want to be there to help our customers, we want to help this co the community, we want to help the industry grow. That's, that's uh, pretty amazing because you know, from being from the outside, I thought it was just a marketing event. Oh, no, not, not so much. It's, uh, it's all about networking and knowledge and that's what we're trying to enable at the conference. There is a very successful annual conference as I think I mentioned earlier we had over 600 attendees um, so very successful but it's it's built from the community and it's not only the print buyers uh, the printers they are also all the 45 plus partners that were there to help create these end end solutions we can, we can we're one of those partners that are there none of us can do it alone our customers need us to come together and help identify uh, what needs they have and how can we drive this uh, industry forward. Uh, talking to both you and also uh, previously with Michael Polin, it seems that the partner approach is extremely important for Canon. Absolutely. Without, again, without them, it's a beautiful printed page, yes, but it needs to be a finished product. So we have to rely heavily on them and, and what's driving it to the, the presses. We need that as well. So it's a holistic and then of course, which our customers demand, they have to have more substrates. When you're talking inkjet, they have to have flexibility of the substrates that their customers are looking for. So without that partnership with the paper mills, we can't deliver the, the, the papers that our customers need. I, of course, when I said partnerships, you turned into talking about the, both the finishing partners and the pre-press pre partners. But I think that it was actually meant as a more broad perception because I was thinking of that, it seems that We've been talking to uh, to uh, um, what was his name from PC? Perry. Oh, yeah, Perry. Yeah. 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 Oh no. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, basically, yes. you you. It seems that everything uh, that is uh, everything that you do. It's holistic. Is, yeah, it's and a, you're trying to yep. build like really, really close relationship with partners that are that are vendors or merchants or papers and and but it, it goes the entire way also to uh, your customers. I think the beauty of Think specifically, it's uh, it's that community. And it's the, we also want the customers to partner with each other. It's amazing the connections uh, customers will make at the conference or um, through workshops or edge or roadshow events. They will build these relationships and help each other grow because you know every customer is unique. They build these unique end-to-end -end solutions, but they may have a gap. They have a customer as a need. They can't quite do it, but you know they have a great friend that they've uh, you know built this relationship with over the years through uh, Think. And uh, so they reach out and they help each other. So that's, that's I mean, it's, it's a true community. You work with uh, marketing. Um, I take that working with marketing and having a strategy where you become very closely involved with both the customers and, and I guess also from staff perspective, I guess that you are a very uh, tight together group. I mean, you hear a lot of, of, uh, of uh, in the industry, you hear about a lot of 
companies that are laying off people. I think that you are more stable than most in the industry. Uh, so Canon, I mean, we continue to invest back into the company, um, and we're, I mentioned earlier also, we're a customer in. So I think what brings so much value to uh, partnering with Canon is we really are listening to our customers. We want to understand what their needs are, and we want to bring that to them because that will help them be successful. So Canon annually will invest back into up to 8% of their profits back into R&D, specifically uh, oftentimes into the inkjet because they're recognizing the value um, it has and, and what it's doing in the industry. So a lot of advancements happening on that side specifically, and it's all going back to help our customers because if they're successful, obviously we're successful. When, when you have this approach, and I'm asking because uh, I used to work with marketing myself as well, I, I was just curious because it you, you invest a lot of your brand and your um, trustworthiness into the market uh, uh, that requires a lot of uh, of courage because if you fail right it, it you can lose a lot of credit in the market well it's really it all comes back down to the people um, I think we have a great group of people that we work with we're very passionate I'm sure you saw it I know in many of your interviews we are passionate we're passionate about uh, the customers we're passionate about helping them we're passionate about working with other like-minded people in the industry and the community uh, to come together and bring great solutions for all. And that's also one of the things I like about getting, I, I got to know you a year ago because that was like you giving also back to the community so I, by like uh, Project I Peacock. Peacock and, yes, I yeah. mean that's, that was a, another project close to heart. Again, I get pretty excited and have to calm down. You don't have to cry. When I talk about it. Um, but it's really just, a, it's another way just to continuing that education and learning in the industry because you know, beyond the printer, there's the end users, the, the print buyers. They need an education just as much as any one of us in this, this stream. Uh, so partnering with Project Peacock, we were able to take it to the road and educate all these designers and agencies. And that has been an amazing journey for us, and we hope to continue with that. And what's happening, uh, it's exciting here at Printing United, they also have Brand United. So we're a sponsor of Brand United. And again, it's just a way for us to continue that message. We've got people speaking on panels talking about how to design for Inkjet, which we helped, uh, we partnered with Think and some industry experts to write that book. Um, and we've got people, customers who have lived and breathed big data and are using it successfully. They're sharing their information with the people in the class to learn how can they leverage what is possible through digital print, what the power print can bring to that communication mix because it is so valuable. Uh, so it's really interesting to have this group of people to come in and, and hear from experts and really try to learn, understand how they can embrace the power of digital printing and, and pass that along to their clients. And uh, listening to you and to your colleagues and to your customers, it seems that that strategy works. It seems that you are having success in the market. We like to think so. I, uh, I just got our numbers back. We're actually leading uh, once again in the inkjet market share, 36%. So I think that's a little bit of a reflection on some of the things that we're doing out in the industry. Mm. And uh, um, is there like a next step with all the things you work? I mean, because uh, I guess that all progress and development needs to keep you on the edge all the time. Yes, we are always continuing to invest. I'm sure the latest announcement you probably heard from Jeff Seringer with our iSeries Plus. So again, that coming straight from customers are like, we launched, we were the first production sheet bedding jet to launch uh, in the US and it was very successful. But as it you know evolved over the past few years, we started listening to customers say, this is great, but you know what? <laughs> It'd be, be really awesome if it could print faster, could it print on more substrates, could we work on the color, get it just a little bit more vibrant? So we listened and we invested that uh, R&D back into that technology. We knew it, it had a lot of promise and can go even further. And we announced the iSeries Plus at uh, the Think Ahead conference. And we have lots of samples here for anyone who wants to drop by at the show floor and take a look at that. They should because you have a lot of nice stuff here. And that's just specifically on the sheet bed inkjet. Um, we actually have some, uh, quite a bit of exciting large format equipment. I don't want to forget our large format team. They're showcasing some really unique uh, solutions on their flat bed and their roll fed devices. And we have a few more things coming down the line. I think you know next year might be a droopy year. So a few more things coming that uh, we will be very excited to talk about in the coming year. So uh, I guess that I can look forward to see you in, at Drupa? Absolutely. We'll be there. So that sounds great. Thank you very much, Tanya.